Hey, I'm Sam and I do design. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to render a camera lens. A few weeks ago on Instagram, I decided to break down my process for rendering camera lenses and reflections into a step-by-step -step guide. But I thought it would be easy to explain if I just made a video about it. In this tutorial, I already have the line drawing finished, so we can just jump straight in and start rendering. I can do a video on perspectives and ellipses if you guys want it, but I'm sure there are already plenty out there. If you would like that video, uh, let me know in the comments down below or go over to Instagram and tell me on there. So let's just jump straight into Sketchbook. So we're gonna add in the block colors first, and I did this by tracing around the edges and then filling in the middle with the paint bucket tool. I also used a dark gray as a base color. This gives me more space to add darker grays and blacks to put in the shadows later on. So on a new layer, I overshot the shadows with a low opacity brush to get a smooth transition. And I didn't add shadows all the way down to the bottom as the bounce back light from the floor would actually give a slight highlight there. Then I added in the highlights on a new layer in the same way. And I let the highlight fall off just slightly before the top of the lens to give a more in-depth look. I sketched in some lens detail and started to give depth to the inside of the lens before working on some more details on the outside. Using the ellipse tool, I just sketched in some extra details in there. So adding in the depth with a darker brush, again, this is where using a slightly lighter grade to begin with lets you add more and more depth later on. And then I cheated on some of this lens detail where I only sketched the top in a darker layer. Uh, and then I just flipped that entire layer to complete the circle. And then once I had that layer complete, I then duplicated that, changed the levels to light, and that gave me the light and dark shadows in there. Again, using the ellipse tool, I added in a red band like the Canon lenses and then used different blend modes to give that the right look. So now it's time for the lens. Uh, I had some reference images nearby and I was just having some fun painted with color with a soft brush before erasing the bits that I didn't need. All of these colors are on a separate layer so I could always come back and change them later on if I needed to. I added in some glass reflections in the same way and then I started adding in the material edge highlights. Again, a low opacity brush so I could keep adding in certain areas to build up the highlight colors. And again, using the ellipse tool with no shame at all. So I'm constantly looking at reference materials, different images to see if I've got the lens inside correct or not, and I just edited those slightly. And then I moved on to the material on the outside, adding the highlights. And then on the Canon lens, there are some decals and things to give you indications about your zoom and your focus. So I just added in some vague indications there. And then I forgot the back connection ring should be chrome. So I added in some contrast to give it a shinier look and carried on putting in the decals. And then this is my favorite part where I really make the sketches pop. I added in my favorite spot highlights. And then finishing off with a drop shadow in perspective in relation to the camera. And there it is guys, a camera lens rendered in about 30 minutes from start to finish. If you learned anything in that video, let me know down in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. And I'll see you in the next video.